7 a.m. on Saturday morning in November. It's cold out, but this doesn't stop these Shine a Light volunteers from getting up bright and early for an important mission. What, grab your jerk? Yeah. Food, clothing, and other materials are donated and collected here at the Shine a Light office. Packages are put together every Wednesday evening and ready to go out on Saturday mornings. The group hauls water, food, and other supplies needed to reach a homeless population most don't even know exists. They live here in the flood channels that run for hundreds of miles under the city. It's quiet, it's lonely, it's dark, it's wet, it's damp. Paul Votrino spent almost three years of his life living underground in these flood channels. I had resigned to the fact that I would die homeless living in a flood drain. And living in a flood drain that's meant for flood water doesn't create the most stable living conditions. When it rains, I lose my bed. I lose, I just, it's gone and, and I have to start over. About eight years ago, Paul was arrested and received help through a Henderson drug court. He's been able to get his life back on track and is now the executive director of the Shine a Light Foundation, dedicating his life to reaching those living in this hidden underground population. I got a response back that would end up being Paul. I'm um, responding back that I, and, I, and I just poured my heart out and I was like, look, I said, I'm, you know, I'm a heroin, cocaine and crystal meth junkie. I said, I don't know how to stay clean. I don't have any clean or sober friends and I don't know what to do or where to go. You know, please, can you help me? Within minutes, help arrived for Danica Martinez. She was taken out of the tunnels and placed in a transitional housing addiction treatment program at Crossroads of Southern Nevada. They are what saved my life, so I, I, to me personally, I owe a life debt that I can never repay. Danica, along with many others who have received help through Shine a Light, do what they can to give back. Kind of just meeting and seeing what barriers and just keep chipping away, you know? It's like chipping away, what next, what next, and then hopefully one day they'll accept the help. George and Danica have a lot in common. They know each other from the tunnels where they were both once homeless, their lives much different now. George is the lead program case manager for Shine a Light. Danica works for the Nevada Homeless Alliance. So I use my lived experience of homelessness and trauma to help people out there. You know, we look for um, ways to uh, bust barriers and, and bridge gaps from going from homelessness into housing and just and try to help every, and people, you know, and, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I actually got that job through George. <laughs> Shine a Light welcomes anyone who wants to volunteer their time to help and consists of a large group of supportive people who love and encourage each other, all with one main goal, to give back. It's hopeful and it's heartbreaking. You know, because you want to go in and pull every single person that once helped you out, but they're not ready. And you, like people say, you have to be ready to meet them on their level. So if they're not ready yet, you just have to accept that. The City of Las Vegas Multi-Agency Outreach Resource Engagement Team, or MORE, reached Amerika in the tunnels when she was at an all-time low in life. Now she's employed at the city's Courtyard Homeless Resource Center and also spends a good amount of her time volunteering for Shine a Light. We've just attracted people that have been able to change their own lives and want to be a part of delivering the message of hope. Um, they've got a story that we call has depth and weight. And when, when those people come down here and talk to people that are still living here and share their own story, it just builds a level of trust that I don't think you could get any other way. These are amazing people with big hearts, you know, that have been through the gutter and have made it out. And just, I want people to know, that, I want people to be able to know that there is a way out and it's possible no matter how far you go down that wormhole there's always a way out and we're here. We have that rope for you. Shine a Light estimates there's about 2,000 people that live underground in these tunnels. And so far this year, they've been able to help about 300 people get out and into permanent housing. If you would like more information or want to volunteer, you can go to shinealightlv.com. Hi, I'm Sue Levitt. Hope you enjoyed that story. And for more great stories on the city of Las Vegas, don't forget to click the box.